So I figured out that the best way for me to add additional functionality to Stratus Forms is to procrastinate for what I actually should be doing. So instead of um, getting ready for my Ignite session that's next week, last night, I decided to, hey, let's add some more functionality to this SharePoint Framework web part uh, that I created. So um, for those of you not familiar, I created a SharePoint Framework web part for Stratus Forms. So now you can create uh, SharePoint forms on both your modern and classic pages in SharePoint Online. And one of the features that I really like about Stratus Form, which I think really sets it afar, apart from other form solutions, is that you can encrypt the data in your form. So you can either encrypt an entire form or just specific fields in a form. And then when you do that, there's no way to read that data unless you have the key to decrypt those values. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and bake that encryption functionality into the web part itself so it becomes one of the native features uh, in the SharePoint Framework web part for Stratus Forms. So I'm going to walk you through that functionality and how to use it right now. So over here in my modern SharePoint page in SharePoint Online, I have a form added with Stratus Forms. This is the timesheet entry example that exists on GitHub. I've already added all the lists that this form uses. Uh, for things like the drop down list for the project, the additional fields in the list. So that's already configured. And again, the GitHub will walk you through that, those pieces. So if I create an entry in this list, uh, I'm, again, I'm using the people picker here on a modern page to show you some of this functionality. So let's create an entry in this form. Uh, there's a date picker which uses uh, some more functionality that you can use. Here's a drop down list that's loaded from another list. I've got repeating content working on here. So you can see several of the features that you may have been using in Stratus Forms for years now still function on these modern pages. So we'll click Save. It says the save is successful. It's going to reload the page for us here. And there's our form loaded. So if we go jump and look at the list where that data is stored, you can see that it created an entry here. And you can see that Stratus Forms data uh, in that Stratus Forms field. So if we wanted to encrypt the data in this form, what we can do is we can edit the page and edit the properties for the web part. And you're going to see a couple of features down here. One of them says, do you want to enable Crypto.js form encryption? So you can enable this, and this is going to uh, use the Crypto.js libraries to enable encryption for this form. Now you, then you have the option of specifying what key do you want to use to encrypt and decrypt the form data. So you could just put a little key in here, put in the key of my key, and then you have an option of do you want to encry encrypt specific fields in the form or do you want to encrypt the entire form? So I'm going to tell it to just go ahead and encrypt the entire form. Now I'm going to apply that, we'll publish it, and now after I save this again, let me go ahead and just update the form here, it says the save was successful, if we go look at that entry in our li uh, the list view, you can see that that data is now encrypted. You can now you cannot look at that data and decrypt it in any meaningful way and know what it means. So this data is now secure, and only the people who have access to this page can read this entry. To show you that, let's go ahead and create another page and let's try to read from this list uh, in that uh, without using that encrypted key. In fact, let's do it in a classic page. Right, we're seeing the form on a modern page. Well, let's see Stratus Forms work on a classic page as well. So I'm going to go into my site pages in my site. I'm going to create a new web part page. And we will call that page unsecure. And let's get that created. Now I'm going to add a web part to this page. It is going to be uh, under Forms, and there's the Stratus Forms web part. We'll get that added. And now we will edit that web part and get it configured. So let's click on the Configure button, and let's go ahead and just copy the entries from this web part over here so we don't have to redo any work. So the list is Timesheet. Let's get the Form HTML. I think the other thing we need to do is to get the init HTML. Let 
this is going to what it does it sets up the date pickers for us that th those actually work all right and that should all be all we have to do then we'll apply it we'll go ahead and apply that again and let's stop editing so uh, I've got the form now on a classic page I can still use it let's create another entry Let's put some data in there and save it. It says the save was successful and the form reloads and you can see it loads that data fine. And if we go look at that data within the list, you can see that it's not encrypted. We can actually read it. So what happens if we try to read one of these encrypted entries on this unsecure form? So, well, if I put the ID for that item here on this form and try to load it, it's, it detects that this form is encrypted and it gives you a chance. Hey, this form's encrypted. What's the key to decrypt it? Uh, let's say you don't know it. So you type in some random numbers. It tells you the decryption failed and the page doesn't load. So you have no access to that data unless you know the key. If you do happen to know the key to that, you can decrypt it here. So we could load it again. We could enter that key of my key. My key and it decrypts the form, okay? But we now have secure data. The only people who can get to this data are those who know the key or those who have access to this page to actually read that file. So the other thing you can do is we can choose to encrypt just specific fields within the SharePoint form. So let's go ahead and change this to where we don't want to encrypt the entire form. We just want to encrypt a specific field. So let's edit our HTML. Let me bring it over here so you guys can see it in this editor where it's bigger. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a field that we want to encrypt. So let's add an additional field to this form. Let's add a field for the social security, social security number. So I just copy and pasted this field. So we have another one. We give it a label of SSN. We want to give it an ID of SSN because it needs a unique ID. With a placeholder of enter SSN. And because we want to encrypt this field, we have to give it a class of SF encrypt. And this tells Stratusforms that we are going to encrypt this field. So I can now just copy this HTML and paste it back in. And again, all we did was we added an additional field and gave it a class of SF encrypt. So let's save that. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and apply that. Now we'll publish it. And let's reload our page. So here we have our form. And we now have an additional field of social security number. So if I put in a social security number, we'll put in 777777777. Now we'll save it. it says the save was success, successful. It reloads the page just fine okay if we go back and look at our list data the list data for that entry you can now see it is the whole form is not encrypted any longer uh, but if we look at the properties for that form we can scroll down we can see that the social security number is in here encrypted so now it is just the social security number that is encrypted in this form so users can get access to the rest of the data so if we come back to our unsecure form over here we edit this web part and we configure it and let's go ahead and update that HTML so that it has a social security number field in it as well so let me just come over here and copy it just so you guys can see what's going on here apply it then we have to close it and we have to apply it again so it's a multiple step process but okay so let's go ahead and just say okay and stop editing the page so now when it tries to load this entry with just the encrypted social security number it says that encryption failed if you don't know the key and you can see the social security number field is this encrypted value you cannot see it and you have no ability to go in there and edit the field either it also sets it into read only so if you 
uh, don't want people seeing specific fields, you've got that ability as well. So again, you cannot see that data unless you know the key or unless you have access to the page that the key is on. When we come back to this page, it loads just fine. And there's the value for the social security number. If I come back to the unsecure page and load it, let's put in the key because we know it, my key. And you see that it does load it fine. So you can actually load it if you know the key. So uh, that's a quick breakdown of how the encryption works. If you want to go in there and start encrypting your forms and encrypting your fields. Again, this is in beta. So if you have any problems with it, let me know. But give it a shot. And thanks again.